I've got a piece here that I need to powder coat that's a lot bigger than my powder coating oven here. So I'm going to use a home kitchen oven so I can do a larger piece just like this one here that I just did. Here I have a Central Machinery Harbor Freight powder coating system that I've been using for some of my parts. I put a bolt on to this tube so it's a place where I can hang it and it's also a place where I'll be able to clip on my ground and then I'll also be able to carry it by this whenever I take it to the oven. I've got my string in place here so now I can just pull it off whenever I'm ready. And I'm going to bring it into the oven in this orientation where it'll be resting here and then back here as well. So also on this bolt and then everything will sit just nicely. We'll put our ground clamp on and I also put a second string on here just to stabilize it so it doesn't turn. Now we'll install it into the gun. Now we can hook up the air compressor. It looks like right now we're set at about three or four PSI, something real low, just so it doesn't glob out as much. Now we'll turn on the machine and we can use this foot pedal to energize the part. This tapping method really seems to loosen up the powder and does a great job at getting it evenly spread out. It's, it's helping a lot. The corners in there can be a little bit tough just because the way that the static electricity it almost repels it sometimes. So you have to just add a little bit more and actually have a little bit too much there. And what's not a huge deal at all. But this is looking really good. I think I've got all the powder that I can on here. So let's go ahead and put it in the oven. I'll take off the ground clamp. We're going to very carefully put this in without bumping it on anything. All right, real gently like that. So at this point, it's just like baking a cake. I have it set at 350 and I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. And what we're checking for is something called flow out. So at a certain point, it's gonna start to get shiny, look like it's starting to melt. And then at that point, we're, we can turn it off and just let everything cool down. So our timer is done, and I can look at it now, and it is flowing out. You can see it has that shininess to it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the oven and let it cool down. Yeah, this is almost as beautiful as a cake. I mean, the, the satin finish is just great. I mean, this is not only gonna look really nice, but also is gonna protect the metal really well. You'll powder coat like frames of cars and that'll really, really do a great job at protecting it because the powder coat's more flexible than a paint. So if it gets hit with a rock, it won't chip. Paint chips really easily, powder coat just sticks to the metal and it's more flexible. So it's a lot better of a protective coating. And this tube turned out amazing. And like I expected, right there is where we set it down, and sure enough, it's scuffed there. You don't have any powder there, but it's gonna be sitting like this on the engine, so that's gonna be on the bottom and almost behind the engine block, so it's not gonna be a problem at all. And, I mean, this is just exactly what I was hoping for, and it turned out just great. I have a few pieces of masking tape on here, because this, this is what seats into a fitting, so this is important that the powder coat didn't get in here because it might affect the seal. So yes, it's very possible to powder coat items in your home kitchen oven. It does a great job, especially when you're doing larger parts. If you were doing this as like a career, you're uh, really going to be doing a lot of parts, you might want to pick up a used oven. You can find them sometimes pretty cheap at garage sales where you can use that just as a powder coating oven. I'm going to be doing a few parts in here and I'm just protecting it with the aluminum foil and it just does a great job. You can see this turned out just how I wanted it and it looks like a brand new part.